Go. Hey YouTube, we're all back here in Tampa, Florida. My friend Jeremiah and John are making. So we had that first video. I'm gonna do a quick recap. We took the ham, that quarter of the animal, trimmed it all up. If we take a look here, you can see all this meat that's been cut and prepped. We watch out for the glands, right? That's up. Any blood that's in there. Uh, it's okay to have a little fat in there. So what they're doing is getting ready to make some sausage or sausage meat, correct? Ground sausage. Yep. Ground sausage. So they're gonna grind this up. He also said he's used it in meatloaf, other things. So we have our grinder over here. It's all ready to go. We got the meat prepped here, looking good. So this was from uh, some wild pigs that were killed. When were they killed? Last night. Last night. So they were butchered, prepped. John here did a lot of the cleanup work, cleaning the, clean the meat of all the hair. Jeremiah's the head butcher here. He's the head butcher here. So what, what are you doing now, Jeremiah? So right now, we, uh, we ordered some seasoning for some breakfast sausage, but it didn't come in. So we're gonna make our own seasoning. So, so far we put a couple tablespoons of brown sugar in. We put uh, 10 tablespoons of dried sage. We put 10 tablespoons of salt in. We're gonna put a few tablespoons of black pepper in. So what, what does this do for the meat? What kind of flavor do you get out so of it? So this is gonna be more of a breakfast sausage. And we're gonna mix it up in there with the meat. And then we're gonna grind the meat after we've added the all the sneezings in with it. What are you putting in now? So right now, we're just getting our seasoning set. But what's that? That's this garlic? is some garlic powder. A couple tablespoons. This is gonna do somewhere between 10, 12 uh, pounds of meat. Now we just got, let's see. So can you pounds. use this? So you said you made meatloaf. Yep. Once the seasoning is in, it just stays in there. Yep. It you stays freeze, in the main. All Everything's meat, ready right? to go. This is going to be more of your breakfast style sausage um, with this. And That's a lot of breakfast sausage. It's like it. your breakfast, breakfast sausage. Do you do sausage. patties with it? Can do patties with it. Yep. I'm going to add just a little bit of this because it gives it a little flavor. This little regular Italian seasoning. So now all the ingredients are in there. And we're just going to give this a quick little stir. All right. So everything's mixed up. That's just the seasoning. All right. So from here, this is our meat. We've already measured it out. About 12 pounds there. And we're just going to take this and just sprinkle it right up on top of that meat. Giving it a little bit of love. Stirring it a little bit. Is it a more savory flavor or sweet? I know she had brown There's sugar. There's a little bit of brown sugar in here. So, so kind of balance so it's it out. a little bit more of that morning breakfast styles. So you can see how everything is just getting coated. And we're just gonna stir it all in nice and good. All right? So you can see how everything's just fitting in. I'm looking down in there. Everything's good, got some, making sure that it's all on there. And so the good thing about this is, is once it's all set and ready to go, go ahead and plug that grinder in. And so from here, now we've got our seasoned meat. <clears throat> We're gonna stick this right here at the end. Turn our grinder on. Mm -hmm. this grinder come from? Can you tell me a little bit about this it? This is a Cabela's grinder. Oh, yeah. There we Commercial go. grade. Just feed it in there, huh? Yep. Just pop it right in there. And that's the first group of sausage that's going to come out of there. So you just do this one time and you're done? One time to get it the initial and then we're going to put it a smaller head on there. Yeah, we need the mincer plates here. This one here has a larger diameter hole. We're going to grind it to this size and then we're going to reduce it even further. Can you do yeah. it just like this and use it? I mean, you could, but 
Uh, this will initially get it going, right, to mixing it up, and then when the fine grinder, it just gives you that good fine grind uh, sauce. Starts to get stuck at all, you can use your little push pull. You can do this, there's smaller grinders, it's just going to take a lot longer because the throat on the smaller grinders doesn't allow for as much meat to get in there. But when you're doing a lot of hogs or deer, you really want a bigger, faster grinder. So you can make the same sausage with deer? You can. Venison? Yep. All right. In there is basically 12 pounds through the original. Uh, Check that out. That looks good. That's going to be some good sausage there. And like I said, we'll stop this, we'll change the plate, and we'll run it through one more time. It makes great for some sausage gravy and biscuits, I will say.